Hey everyone, Chris and Wendy here from Meeple Overboard. And today we are playing Blue Lagoon by writer Knizia. Published by Blue Orange Games, Hot Games, Cool Planet, something like that. Thanks to Blue Orange Games for sending this one out to us, actually. This is one I've been wanting to try for a little while. This game has a lot of different uh, point options. There's some area control and some set collection with these resources. And then chaining together islands as well. What, what, so what's going to happen here in this game is your turn is literally putting out a thing. You can put one of your boat people onto any ocean space you want this whole first half of the game. And then that's my whole turn. And then after that, Wendy would go put up something and uh, I could then choose to either put another boat anywhere that I want or I could choose to put the land side of the token onto an island space. And so we're just doing this back and forth until we eventually land on areas that will give us resources. As Wendy said, we're trying to set collect resources. We are trying to be on as many islands as we can, and we are trying to uh, chain together lots of islands. If you're on seven to eight islands, you get 10 or 20 points. You get five points per island in your largest chain of your little dudes. Um, if you get majorities on the islands, you can get six or eight or ten points if you have the most of your settlers there. You uh, get, if you have two, three, or four of a resource, you get five, ten, or twenty points. If you have one of each of the main four resources, you get ten points. This is one time total. And each one of these little brown uh, totems here are worth four points each. So we're literally just going to play this same game two whole rounds. We're going to put all of our people out. The second round is just a slightly bit different than the first round. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Place your first boat. Okay, and you may also be asking, well, what's the point of the little huts? You can always That's put out true. a hut, if you would like, instead of one of your land settler people. And then these are going to be our starting points for the second half of the game. So you'll see that in action here pretty quickly. So I'm going to start the game by putting out my little ocean guy. My little ocean guy, my little ocean guy. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll put him right here next to either one of these goods. Sounds good. I'm going to stick my person here. Okie dokie. I will go ahead and put a, 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 a C person right there. Hmm. I will hop down next to you. Ooh, interesting. What you gonna do there? I think what I'm gonna do, uh, I wanna secure my position a little bit. I'm gonna put a land guy there, and because it's on one of these things, I'm gonna take the little totem. Your turn. My turn. I'm gonna go ahead and, since we're fighting over these spots, I'm gonna go ahead and place that there. Interesting. I'm not exactly sure what you're doing. So, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Because I don't know what you do. I, I could either put, ah, uh, I'm not sure what you're going to be doing exactly, but I'm going to go ahead and put a guy right here so I can easily grab some of those uh, bamboo shoots, I think these are. The, the rule book kind of explains what each of these resource little tokens are. Something like that. They're very cute. Um, uh, I'll put a guy over here. You notice I'm not exactly rushing to grab a bunch of the tokens yet. Because you can plop these guys anywhere, you know, I want to position myself in good places so that... Yeah. What are you doing there? I'm going to go here. Okay. You're back to you. Back to your turn. <laughs> back to my turn, huh? Yeah, I'm having a hard time reading exactly what you're going to be doing, and so... <laughs> That's one of the things about this game. It's 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 it could feel like an abstract game where you're just placing things out, but it is fun that there are so many different ways to score at least. So mm, what you doing, my friend? Um, boy, I sure would like to grab a lot of different resources, and you're scaring me a little bit. So I'm gonna go and build here because you're adjacent to that guy. So I'm gonna take this. Uh, uh, kelp? Plankton, maybe? I don't know what this exactly is. It kind of looks like the Board Game Geek logo that they switched to recently. <laughs> greens. Healthy greens. Healthy and somewhat delicious greens. Somewhat. Only somewhat. I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab this <clears throat> right there. 
How dare you? Um, well, since you're doing that, I'm gonna go here and block you off from being able to connect to that island super easily. Perfect. No, it's not perfect. It's supposed to be threatening and menacing. <laughs> it's not. Boo. So remember, Wendy's trying to have the most people on this island, because this one's ten points, and she's also going to try and connect her people along so she can string together lots of islands, but I'm trying to do the same thing as well. So, uh, what, do, <laughs> what do I want to do next? I, I guess I've got a lot of areas to to race for, but you know what? ka chow, -chow. I'm going to go right down there. I'm going to connect so many islands, you don't, it'll even surprise you how many islands I've connected. So many islands. I'm going to grab this peach. Boo! Boo, I say. All right. Um, oh, one other small little rule. These permanent settlements that you put out cannot go on an area where there's, like, the totems. You technically can put one there if you're, like, in a bind, but don't because it'll get removed. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go right there. Connect on that little island here, and I get another totem. Fancy. It is fancy. Admire my fanciness. Oh, I'm admiring your fanciness. I am also fancy. I am fancy. See me roar. How dare you. Um, well, since you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and jump onto this one right here and grab this bamboo shoot. You bamboozle in that shoot? Just gonna make our way across here. Where are you going? Where are you? You're obviously trying to connect a, a, a ton of stuff. So, uh, um, uh, dare I, dare I be the best board game player in the world and try something different? I'm gonna go right here. That looks good to me. Cool. Not cool. Menacing. <laughs> <laughs> Menacing and intimidating. Can't you tell by my menacing voice? Boo. Boo. Um, sure. Yoink. Back to you. But you didn't see that move coming for a, a million, million, billion miles. Uh, and whilst you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this more of this green seaweed stuff or whatever. Whatever I said it was. It's fair, but I still made it on the island. You did make so, it to. Ha, 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 ha. You did make it to the island. That's fine. I, I'll concede there. Um. Ba 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 bum 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 ba bum ba bum. Let me go right there. Back to you. Back to me. Let's see, all these options of things I want to do. I'm gonna go. Gonna go, gonna go, gonna go right now. Gonna go, gonna go right now. Go, 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 right now. And remember, you can also be putting out those permanent settlement huts. Not in the ocean, of course. That'd be a bad idea. That's fair. Okay, you do that. I'm going to just be uh, uh, pensive here for a minute. No, no time to be too pensive though, because I've got I've got precious precious resources to gather, and I think that it's about time that I uh, I'm gonna get this fella here, the 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 blue thing, which I don't remember what it is either. <laughs> Because it's such a, ooh, such a thematic game, of course, you know? Very thematic. Yeah, the tough choices between putting out, like, land settlers or ocean settlers. Woo, so difficult of choices, you know? Oh, I know. You do know. Um, well... Is this the right place? I'm going to go ahead and do that. Very good. I'm going to put a permanent settler right there. Or permanent settlement. Yeah, my little hut. Huddy hut hut house. Okay. 
Very good. I'm going to put uh, this guy right there, and I'm going to eat up another one of these. I assume these are coconuts. It's oh, it's going to bother me. I might have to look up in the rule book <laughs> to remember what they are. I know the yellow is bamboo. That's the only thing I know for sure that I have like any sense of security about. <laughs> hmm. Thought processes. All right. I just assume you're going to make that connection. So I can keep fighting over it or I can start doing other stuff. Yeah, probably doing other stuff would be good. Uh, yoink, I put my ocean master out there. <laughs> I'm gonna connect so many islands. You're gonna be like, how'd you connect so many islands? And I'll be like, with magic powers. Uh, with magic beans? Beans, beans, the magical fruits. I don't know if you've heard that aphorism before. Not I have. <laughs> Hey, what are you trying to do over there? All right. I, uh, I'm going to put, I hope this isn't a bad idea, putting another permanent settlement out there. So now I've connected, uh, yeah, so I'm connected all the way across these islands here. Okay, that's good. Grab that thing. All right, so for me, um... I'm also going to connect across this way, methinks. Okay, back to you, Wendy. Let's work on getting that peach. Ah, oh, boy. So this is, I'm, I'm getting kind of low on, on people here, almost faster than I would have, have liked. And I want to be touching a lot of islands, because if you're just touching, not even connected, but if you're just touching all eight islands at 20 points. So uh, I guess I'd better go here. And the other thing that I'm not factoring in terribly well, I don't feel like, is is the majorities thing. So I have not really been counting how majoritous I am on specific <laughs> islands or not. So specific islands in the Pacific Islands. Oh, get it? Oh, I got it. Oh, you did. You did. Because you're a clever girl. That's why. Okay, I'm going to grab this one here for sure. So I got my second little bamboo shoot. Okay. Need a peach. All right, all right. We all know that you're impressive. <laughs> I am. Uh, with all of that, I'm gonna put another one of my permanent settlers. Uh, ugh, probably out here. I hope that this is not a bad idea. <laughs> I just realized I haven't been putting my permanent things down. I should do that. You should do at least one or two of those. Yeah. Something somewhere. <laughs> um. Oh, is that... Should I be going for that green? That is 10 points if I can get it. But I should be trying to do something I can get four of really easily. Uh, ooh, there's not a lot of guys left. I might be selling myself short. Grab my third bamboo shoot. Oh, you're getting getting into that kelp game there, huh? Mm-hmm. I have lots of peaches. Uh, I can get my fourth bamboo here. I can get my third... Water chestnut? I don't know what the heck that thing is. So, how many islands am I connected to on my big chain? Just one, two, three, four, right? It would be nice if I could make it larger, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think you're probably connected to more islands. Well, I think I have all of them. <laughs> Not on my big chain, but I have all of them. Yeah, you Something are on all of them. Yeah, but this one's cut off, so that's, that's good news. Good news bears for me, at least. Um... Yeah, what do I want to do with this fella then? Might as well collect some resources. Might as well try and have a few more majoritousness. So I'm going to go ahead and get this bamboo. Bam, four of a kind bamboo is going to be worth 20 points at the end of the round. So, hey. That sounds tasty. Take this guy. Okay, you're there. So, uh, these pe pink peach things? So, uh, you're, not, you're not really feasible to get up there super easily. Um, yeah, I think you're definitely winning the resource game. I, I hope so. I've been focusing pretty hard on resources. I bet I could get this one and this one. Okay, so uh, I I will put... Oh, golly. I'm going to put a water guy out here because there's so few of these left. This is very precious few resources. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So here's the interesting thing. 
we, I guess we can explain this now. For the second half of the game, we're going to wipe everything off of the board. Resources and the settlers and stuff, except for the villages. And the villages are going to be the only area that we can start rebuilding from. And the other thing, too, is that we can no longer, in the second half of the game, put ocean people anywhere we want willy-nilly. We can only build off of the permanent settlements that we put out onto the map. So, they're important. They are kind of important. We're gonna... It's hard to tell where stuff is coming up. Is that... That's a resource there. I'm gonna put this here. Okay. Okay, because it'll be adjacent to two new resource yes. spots. Yeah, that's... that's that's wicked awesome. Uh, like I said, I have so few settlers. It doesn't make sense for me to chase this bamboo because you can only have max four of a kind for point scoring for any of these given things. And so uh, I do want to get the little water chestnut things. Forgive me, Reiner Knizia, for your very thematic game here that I'm butchering. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing. Yoink. All right. I'm going to go ahead and come on over here. Come on over. Come on over, baby. Better get this while the getting's good. Okay, yoink. Oof. You have so many permanent settlements left, though. Are you comfortable with those being the last things you put out? I am. I'm comfortable with that. Very good. Ooh, I don't have anything on this island yet. That, my friends, is a problem. That is a problem because I would like to, I'd like to get on the island and then maybe put a permanent settlement out there but I'd also like to get this peach because that this was maybe a bad idea no oh, but it's between two scoring resource spots so that's something you know that's the thing even if you don't get something right away hopefully you can get something coming up on next so uh, I'd like to get onto this island I'd like to get this peach thingy dingy but I only have one more of these fellas here so should I score four points or this one is going to be worth five points, but then short myself on settlers here. Uh... So when you build a settlement on a place where a resource comes, the resource just doesn't end up there second round? No. What happens is if I put my settlement here on this resource spot, then when we wipe everything, you have to wipe off this settlement too. Ooh, ouch. So you have one fewer permanent thing out there. I'd like to get onto this island, right? Because I'm, on, I'm touching seven of the ten islands otherwise instead so mm, yeah I, I didn't I didn't set this up too well I should have definitely made one other thing a permanent settlement but that's fine nobody has to suffer for my follies so I think that what I'm gonna do is uh ooh ooh yeah big oof um uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a settler there that's that okay Sorry, back to Wendy. So good job connecting more into your big chain. So that's a little bit frightening for me. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to get this peach. I'd like to have a permanent settler over here, maybe. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a settlement onto that space there to get the, the peach thing. All right, back to you, Wendy. Back to me. Put a permanent fella there. And then lastly, I get to put this one anywhere that I want. I could put it maybe adjacent to there. That way I have a permanent residence over there for the next half of the game. Very good. And last move for the first half of the game. For the first half of the game. Oh, it's impossible to see where things are. <laughs> There's stuff underneath it. Where are stuff, things, places? That spot, that spot. Yeah, we'll just put it somewhere. Any old anywhere. I think that was kind of done. Actually, I don't think that's a resource, is it? Oh, it is a resource. Okay, we're okay there then. All right, so what we'll do then is we have now hit the scoring phase. The scoring phase gets triggered either when all of the resources are gathered up off of the islands, which has not happened, obviously, but more likely once you have run out of workers and settlements. So this will be me here on the left, Chris. And then over on the right-hand side, there's Wendy, if you couldn't guess which one of us was which. So, for me, I am touching all eight islands, correct? Mm, I believe so. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I have presence on all eight islands, so I get 20 points. Okay, I do as well. Wendy gets 20 points. Now, we're going to go and find our biggest chain of connected islands, and we're going to score five points 
per island in that chain, which for me, unfortunately, is only one, two, three, uh, four, and then five. I wasn't able to connect those. So five times five is 25 points for me and Wendy. My entire chain is connected. Your entire chain My is entire connected? My entire chain is connected. Oh, you went around me. I did. You I'm son of sneaky. a gun. So eight times. So I times, got all eight islands, yeah. So that's 40 points for you. Yuck. Uh, now, we're going to go ahead and score majorities on each of the islands. So Our tie is just zero, I presume, because... Because <laughs> it's a two-player game, yeah. yeah. So starting at this one, uh, that is... A tie. That is a tie. Moving over here to this one, this six-point island, that's tie. also a tie. <laughs> <laughs> over here on this eight-point island, though, I do have majority because you only have one. Yep. And I've got the two. So, uh, so far here for me, that's eight points. I'm just going to jot this down and then we'll do a sum. Uh, now, moving on over here to this eight-point island, I only have one, two, three, whereas you have four. So, one do you won that eight-point island. I move into the 10 point island here. I have nine. You have nine. I only have four, five. Yeah. So when do you get 10 points for that one? Uh, going over here, uh, I guess we'll just do this big 10 point island as well. So what's the status on this one? One, two, three, four, five for me. And you I have, have five. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, you have six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, correct. I forgot to count this guy. And so I have. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, woohoo! I get that tenor. So we're both at 18 thus far. Uh, going over here. That's also a tie. Here on the what? This eight point island? Yep, you two to my two. You're two to my two. And, and then we go to tie. this one. One, two, three. Three. Uh, I have three people on there. Do you have three? Oh, you have three. I, sorry, I thought there were two. Woohoo! I have two. So I get six Ooh. points. So I come out six points ahead on that. So you got. 18 and I got whatever 18 plus 6 is, is 24. Ouch. I thought that the long chain of endlessness would get me points, but you obviously are winning this. Because <laughs> uh, now we're going to resources. So um, for every, let, let's do it this way. So for every two of a kind that I have, I will get five points. For every three of a kind, 10 points. And for every four of a kind, 20. So I have. Uh, 5 plus 10 plus 20 plus 20, so that's 55 points in resources. Wendy, what is your resource pointage? Um, Cause singles 5, are 10, not... 15. No, you have to have... Oh, you, you have, have to have, have two? Yeah. You Oops. have to have pairs of each. I mislooked at that. From over here, it looks like a single. Okay. Well, I get a lot of nothing. Okay, so you get... You have three of a kind, so that's 10 points. Okay, so in... 10... In uh, co coconuts or clams or whatever yep. that is. And I have one set, so that's another 10. Okay, yeah, we each have one and full set. And then I set. have eight points from uh, tiki, tiki statues, yeah. I think. I have 12, you have eight. So we get to do math, unfortunately. Um, okay, so this is 20 plus 25 is 45, plus the 55, that's 100, 124, plus. 10 is 134, plus 12 is 146. Did I do that right? And now looking at Wendy, when do you have 20 plus 40 is 60, uh, plus 18, 78. 78 plus another 20 is 98, plus 8 is 106. But I had the longest chain. You did have the <laughs> longest chain, yeah. So that is the standing for the first half of the game. And then for the second half of the game, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clear off everything, literally everything to uh, on the board except for the settlements, so long as they were not, like mine, built on a resource gathering spot. So everything else is going to wipe off, including the uncollected resources, We'll throw all of our resources back into the bag and redistribute them out. All right, so we have set up the second half of the game. We have mercifully 
you skipped through the resetup of it, so you don't have to see us fumbling things. The one thing I did want to clarify, remember how I set this village out or settlement or whatever you want to call it on this resource space? It gets pulled off of there, and as an even bigger punishment, I have to remove this from the game completely. I do not get to place it in the second half of the game as like a mercy rule or anything. It's just gone. We are only going to be placing out these settler tokens. So now, what's going to happen is we have to build adjacent to our initial settlements that we have put out on the board. And so um, we can no longer put the ocean people just anywhere that we want. So we have to build off of what we have, which is why it hurts to have one fewer of these at the start of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and start again. And I'm going to go ahead and build off of this guy right here to collect this peachy thingy dingy. That's what I was going to do. Which is why I went ahead and did it. So it's over to you. Aren't you peachy? Well, in that case, I will go ahead and surf the seas over here. You're surfing the seas, huh? Is that like surfing the web or surfing the net? Oh, baby. Remember remember internet lingo? Ay, 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 ay. It's probably... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and build off of that for right now. The second half of the game is hard, where you want to you want to do right by your strategies and your plans, but you're so very limited at the start. So um, I'm gonna build right there. That looks good to me. Oops. Ah! Oh, We're working. silly man! Boats don't stuff. go on land, so I'm gonna build. Right there. Right there. Right there. Chris wants to be all up in my space. I do. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Okay. Very nicely, nicely done. I'm going to go ahead and start plotting into the ocean. Brave in the waters. Too bad there's not some sort of like Disney-esque song that I could be singing while imagining all this excellent, like, Pacific Islanding adventuring, you know? To me, there's not any song about being brave and, like, heading out into the ocean or something in some sort of disney aesthetic movie, you know? Golly. A boy can dream, though, can't he? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, da 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 you did that. da ba da 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 You've done that stuff. I'm gonna... Go ahead and... <laughs> oh, what, what can you do that I don't want you to do? <laughs> How can I react quicker than you are going to react then to me? So I'm going to go here. Uh, I'll connect that. Hey, I don't like that. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go ahead and put an Ocean Master out here. Sail in the ocean blue. Don't like that. Don't like it. Don't like it at all, baby. Okay, you went go ahead and got my little tiki. <laughs> Alright, we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Figures. So I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, no, what can I do? What can I do? I think I'm going to go down this way. This guy. Very good. Very good. So very good. Do 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 Very good. Huh. Okay. Put out uh, a fellow right there. That's certainly the island that I'm not sure how or if I'm going to get to. So unfortunately, I'm pretty sure just by the mere setup, the fact that I didn't have like a permanent settler over here or something at the start of the game, like that one's gone to me. I fear, I fear. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this bamboo shoot. You grab the 
I forgot to look this up in the rule book. What is that thing? I wish I knew. <laughs> it's a peach. It's a peach. It's not a peach. <laughs> Probably not a peach, but it looks like a peach. It kind of does. Uh, so what, what do I want to do with this guy? I think I better jump onto this island before you get too much up in my hair. Okay, so that's good. Hmm. Mm hmm. Possibilities. You went up there. That's going to be a very effective way to cut off my ability to reach this corner of the map whatsoever. So, of course you did. I mean, because honestly, why Why not? Like, why wouldn't you? So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, an ocean dweller right there. Bridge the gap between these islands. Very good. Very good. I go ahead and get this. So I have another bamboo. Some more bamboozolation. Very nice. Oh, uh, yeah. So at this point, I think what I want to do, I'm going to go onto this island here and just collect this other uh, tiki statue. No thanks. <laughs> I say it with a sly tooth grin. Had to put the pressure on. I had to put the pressure on like Donkey Kong. Right? That's what they say. Ba 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 bum ba 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 bum. Uh, okay, okay. You did that. So what I want to do is, um, ba ba bum bum. I'll put Oceano guy right there. Ha ha. Okay. I needed my diversity. I got it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. So, what what do I want to do at this point? I'm gonna put. Ocean guy right there, so I can start just start connecting more and more and more of my chain. Hmm. What to do? So many possibilities. Ah, shucks. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. Well. I'm going to go ahead and grab this bamboo. How about you? How about me? Wow, wow. How about you? Wow, wow. Hmm. Bet you never had a friend like me. Very good. I'm going to put a water guy right there. Very nice. And then I shall cut you off right here so I can get my fourth bamboo. Hey, must be bamboo. That's okay. I'll get my third peach. Yoink. Go ahead and boink. I got that. Connecting the old islands together. Okay, I guess what I want to do then, it's impossible for me to get any of the stuff over there, but what is it possible for me to do is perhaps a fantastic question. Um, I'm gonna get my blueberry thing from there. I could choose to get another one of these peach berries or coconut berries or whatever, they, whatever they are. Maybe um, they're coconuts. Maybe well, actually, these are probably coconuts. Yeah, I what? Don't know. Pots. Pots. <laughs> Uh, Blue pots. You put the you put the coconut in the pot and drink it all up. I'm gonna go there. You should do that. I should. Thanks for noticing. You're welcome. I didn't need it anyway. I got four bamboozles. Oof, I think I just don't quite have enough of everything I want. Oh man, I was being so passive over there. I realized I could have just been cutting you off. Um. 
I also realized if I had been more proactive, I could have connected to that island. <laughs> and I was thinking, ah, it's too bad I can't connect to that island. Dang it! I totally had a passageway to be able to do that and everything. I'm just gonna go grab this pink berry because that's all I can think about. You should get your pink berry. I should feel ashamed of myself. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Uh, okay. I got the pink berry. I hope you're happy now. If it makes you feel better, I can't reach my pink berry. I wanted pink berry number four, but can't get pink berry number four. Well, you were the resource person this half of the game, it, it appears. So I'll go ahead and get this. So at least I have pairs of each thing. That's fair. Fair for a pair. <laughs> Oh no, I don't like it. Um, yoink, back to you. Back to me. Back to reality. Four, five. I only have four there, that's a bummer. That's an eight point island. I think you have that 10 point island, I have this 10 point island. Uh, you and I are tied on the sixer. I've got more on this one. You have, yeah, your chain is so much better this time around, so we'll see if it evens out the score or not. I'm hoping. I think the only thing I can do that's really worth, like, any possible change of points, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so if I put something out on this island's tenor, like, you'll just put your other person out there, obviously, unless you're really, really hankering to get four points instead of ten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just in case you were thinking about that. I think the only thing I can do that would effectively make a difference is that I'm going to put this fellow right there so that even if you put it out here, you can't steal the eight-point island from me or tie it. Hmm, that's fair. We're tied on this one and we're tied on that one. Tied on which one? Or we will be tied on this one if I add it here. No, because I have oh, one, five two, three, and you only have three. Five. Oh, there you That's go. why I did that. So, was we, can't so be tied. we can't be tied there. So Correct. I can steal six, or I can steal four points by just grabbing that dude. I think six makes more sense. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, mathematically, right? As long as you're not... Um, this one's not connected to your big chain. You're right, it's not. Oh, I thought, okay. So I thought it was. I guess it's not. Okay. And I can't do it with one dude, so can't. it's all good. All right. Well, unfortunately, that's the way the cookie crumbles. So let's go here now to uh, island scoring. I only have presence on seven of the eight islands. Is that correct? Everything but this one right there? I think so. So I only get 10 points this round instead of the 20. I get the 20. You get the 20. You barely got on right there, so good on you. All right, five points now per island in our biggest chain. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so 30 points for you. Mm -hmm. And me, I have... 30 as well. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so island chain was not my big weakness there. Now we're gonna do majorities. This might be the... <laughs> this might be something. So you have majority here on this six point island. So you get six plus, you have majority six. on that six point island. Plus eight. Plus that eight over there, okay. Uh, coming over here to eight, you have this one as well. I do. So plus eight, youch. Uh, over here you have this 10. You have this 10. I have this 10, uh, you got this six. six, and then I got this eight, so. Uh, you get another six. Youch. So you get eighteen. Uh, I get eighteen. That is easier math. You, on the other hand, have six plus six plus eight, so that's twenty, plus another ten, so thirty, plus eight plus six, so forty-four points in island majorities. Well, that's good because you were above me like thirty points before. So yeah, well, forty points before. Yeah. So yeah, you needed that, and now resources, which you've also done a bang up job on. So uh, every set of two is worth five points. So I have five, 10, 15. And then every set of four is worth 20. So I have 35 points in resources. I have 34, is that right? Uh, no, that can't be. 20 plus 10, so you have 30. Plus 40. five plus five, so you have 40, 40 points in yep. resources. 
plus eight for the Tiki Men. Uh, so ne- next up oh. on the scoring sheet is... Ten for the set. We each have a complete set, so ten points each. We both get eight for Tiki Men. Eight for Tiki's. So now, ugh, even bigger numbers. <laughs> so we start at uh, 146 plus 10 plus 30, so that's another 40, that's 186. 186 plus 18 is uh, 196 plus 8 is 204. <laughs> plus 35 is 239. Plus 10 is 249. Plus 8 is 257. Is that correct? I do not know. Oh. <laughs> Except you. I was hoping that you would somehow be like an extra perfect calculator. But someone on YouTube is like, Chris, you, you carry the carry the seven and the, you only have 12 <laughs> points. Okay. <laughs> so, Wendy, you start at 106 plus 20 plus 30. So, 156. 156 plus 44 is... 160 plus 40. Yes. Yeah, so, 200. 200 plus 40. 58. Plus 50. Oh my gosh, you have 258 point? points. That's a miracle. You have 258 points to my 257. That's unbelievable. We must have done the math right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the math is, <laughs> the math is final at this point. Holy math cow. Sound. How did you do that? I mean, you getting, uh, what was your biggest thing? Just the majorities on islands. I think so. The fact that you just left me to my, my whims up top definitely was useful. Yeah, and I had, uh, let's see, I had, where were all my guys? I had a lot more. Did I have more ocean dwellers than you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many ocean people do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus you lost a hut. I lost a hut. I lost a jab of the hut So over that's here. two, minus two scoring people, basically. Yeah. And then you just did a lot on this island that didn't need to happen. Yeah, I wanted to come and get the coconut. You know, and but and I guess so, I did a lot on that island. I don't know. Yeah, but you did. It was still spread. It was more, all for a purpose. Yeah, and I picked up a lot of resources as I did so. I spent a lot of people on this whole chain right here, which ended up not being a majority, not not getting eight points with four people on this island, and then a bunch of ocean people all around it. So I think that's where a lot of my people went mm. is right in this area, which netted me. Almost no points. Thankfully, I did get to this island for the eight majority. Mm-hmm. But, ugh, yeah, like you just, you were able to spread better. Uh, me not being able to to put out my last tiki, or no, not my tiki, uh, hut, my permanent settlement village thing. You know, if I had that, had that over here, then, yeah, I could have done things a lot different at the start of the second round. So because of that, I, f- I think that's one of the biggest things. But... Hey, very cool, very cool. Now, this isn't our typical type of game. It is not our typical type of game. It's a little more abstract feeling than our typical game. But yeah, I don't know. I enjoy it, and I think I enjoy this one more than you, and I think I enjoy this one more than, like, other abstract e games that we've played recently. Like, I think of uh, Photosynthesis, actually by the same publisher, by Blue Orange, and I wanted to really like Photosynthesis. I wanted to really think it was cool and clever and good. And then I ended up just kind of, I cooled on it very quickly. You know? mm-hmm. And I'm trying to figure out why. It, it. I guess this is more dynamic because there's so many different ways to approach scoring, maybe. I think that's part of it. Um, I think the, the part that I struggle with with this game is I feel like I'm just waiting for Chris to be distracted so that I can do something. And one thing I'd definitely say is like, this is not necessarily like our type of game, I don't think. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely more abstract than we typically like to play. Um, There's some interesting scoring things going on over here. There's some options, but I really feel like at the end of the day, like I'm just waiting for Chris to get distracted so I can come up here and steal something of his. Like, so I was intentionally choosing to not chase after, there was a bamboo over here. I was like, well, I got this one and this one and this one or whatever. And so I was like, I got my four bamboo. I don't need five. So I was not thinking about going down here. I didn't want to signal. I didn't want to put one of my guys out here and signal to you. Oh, cut that off or whatever. But I realized I waited too long. And then I literally didn't even think that I could bother to have connected these ones. Gotten five more points. Maybe fought a little bit on some majorities. If I had cut you off, that would have been devastating, you know. But mm-hmm. I just, I, it totally, totally was just out of my mind. Uh, so that was a big disappointment. And that's, I agree, a lot of abstract games are like setting up traps or 
your opponent just messed up. <laughs> and I feel like, yeah, at the end of the day, like I get so excited about what I'm doing in one area that Chris takes a couple turns and because they're very quick turns that I just kind of go, oh, I'm sure he did something. And then I didn't pay attention. I was like, no, he ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think that this is less about setting up traps like a competitive co-op or um, a competitive abstract game, like a direct confrontation one. This is more like, oh, you kind of got in my way, fudge, you know, instead of like, you captured my queen. I needed my queen to be able to to maneuver. And, you know, it's not chess or anything like that, but it's, it's quick and I really enjoy how fast the turns are. So it makes it, even though it is kind of an abstract game, it makes it definitely palatable to, palatable to me more than, I don't know, more than other ones that we've played that are kind of like, thematic abstract game. Yeah, I appreciate that your workers stay out on the board. And so it, you're kind of filling in space instead of it to me it almost seems like a like high end connect the dots. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah, like I you're just trying to fill in spaces and kind of wait till someone gets distracted. Oh, with oh, something else. You connect the dots, the little grid game, right? Where like you have all the dots. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Everyone takes a turn drawing a line, and if you complete a square, you get to draw another line. And so you're just waiting until that moment where you're like, square, 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 yeah. yeah okay. I got it. I did it. I got I blocked Chris from connecting. Yeah. Okay. No, that's a cute reference. I, I appreciate it. And yeah, it would be like connect the dots if it had like six different scoring. Exactly, mechanisms. if it wasn't just filling in squares, it was. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to connect things, or you're trying to have majority in areas. So, I like it for this. I like it a lot, and this is a super cool score that can imagine amazingly happen in a game in the two hundreds of points. So. Pretty tight. Yeah, pretty tight overall. I think I like this one more than you. I don't know if it's a keeper or not. I I don't think it's a keeper because I don't think it's a keeper. I don't love it. Um, yeah, it just, it feels very, very much that head to head and there's not a lot of, I don't know what to say. I don't know what I mean by that, but yeah, it's just very head to head and we've, what I, I think one of the things that comes to my mind at least is we've talked more and more recently about, are we discovery gamers or mastery gamers? Do we like discovering new strategies, discovering new ways to approach things, which are one of our favorite games like Feast for Odin or legacy games where there's a lot to discover over more and more time whereas mastery games i think this falls under more like chess and twilight struggle or this is kind of a mastery game like next time we play this we've figured out most of the strategies they're just there so now we just have to become better and better and better and more precise of players and read each other better mm -hmm. and it's at, it's just at the point we've played this you know, a handful of times and now if we play it, it's not discovering new strategies and new paths. It's honing the few ways that there are to win, even though there are lots of different scoring ways, you know? And I think that's fair. Yeah. I think that's fair. So if, you, for some reason, you loved this game, I would play it. I'd pull it out more often. But it's not a keeper for us because, eh, it, it it's special, it's unique, it's cool, but for somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> We're Meeple Overboard. Thanks for watching. They are pots. <laughs> They're pots. Well, the blue things are pots of water. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. I mean, fruits don't have handles. Oh, and the green thing is e e emeralds? Okay, that's weird. Because it looks like a plant. <laughs> they should have, like, I don't know. <laughs> These are coconuts, though. We were. I was right about the coconuts. We were right about the coconuts.